Well, natural lacquer in China developed into an art over the thousand years they used it. And one of them is shown here or here. The product of many layers, lots of polishing and carving that lacquer. It's called cinnabar lacquer in the States. At least that was the name 50, 70 years ago when it was very popular in the United States. But today there are only a handful of producers left in China who work this way. It requires a tremendous patience and patience is something that is slowly diluted or diminishing in this world. It's not existing anymore. In the, in the West, patience is very rare and even in the East, it is slowly disappearing. The younger generation hasn't got the same patience like the older people. And therefore, wherever you go to these lacquer places in China, it's old people working there. Old people putting layer of layer and waiting that the lacquer dries, polishing it in another layer. So they say that it takes about 10 to 15 layers of lacquer for one millimeter. And the average piece that you see here requires probably five millimeters thickness or four millimeters thickness, which would require 60 to 75 layers. Each layer takes about three days to dry. Natural lacquer is very slow in drying, but one can speed it up by heating, which some people do, or many people do. And uh, then after all these layers have been completed, they start carving. The carving under usual circumstances would also be difficult because the layer is, the, the lacquer is very hard and very brittle, but this type of lacquer is mixed with a lot of oil, 50% oil, to assure that it can be carved at the end. And the result are these incredible, incredibly beautiful carvings, which Lotus orders and waits four, five, six, eight, sometimes 10 months to be completed. Well, we in Lotus apply uh, the red lacquer to bowls. That means we prepare the bowls, send them to China, have them lacquered and carved there, and then get them back. We send boxes, we send handbags, we send uh, the handles of wine glasses, and all kind of objects that we feel would look good in carved red lacquer. And then we wait for the completion. And in between we travel, control the quality. But uh, these carvers are very experienced. They have done that all their life. And they are fantastic and uh, as far as quality is concerned. So we get uh, incredibly beautiful products uh, which uh, are conceived and designed by Lotus, but done uh, by the Chinese lacquer people.